If you guys have watched the last couple of videos of mine, you've seen me working on this maple cutting board. I'm at a point now where I have my inlays. In fact, I've already done the ones for the top, and now I've moved on to the ones for the side. But the inlays stick out proud, probably a good eighth to three sixteenths, maybe even as much as a quarter inch. And we need to flush these up somehow. There's a few different ways that we can do it. I'm choosing to use a flush trim saw. A flush trim saw is, a, is essentially a really thin blade. They're Japanese type saw, so they cut on the pole stroke. 22, 21 teeth per inch. In fact, the two that I have, I believe the Irwin is 22 and this one's 21. So we're talking really close to the same thing. But the idea here is to have a very flexible blade. And by having a very flexible blade, we can get in here really close to this and cut this off. I've put the Irwin through a lot over the years. I've bent the tip on it. It's got a couple teeth that have finally come off. Uh, when that happens, you replace the saw, or in some cases, you can get a replacement blade. This is the Z saw flush trim saw. And ironically, there's only about a dollar price difference. I think this one is $14, if I remember right, and I think this one is $15. This is a really, really good saw, very handy to have. And as I upgrade and replace tools in the shop, I kind of like the idea of having two. One that can be used to use and abuse for rougher type things where I'm working on a rough situation, maybe a framing situation where I still need some sort of a flush trim saw. I'm not so worried about scratching and stuff like that. This is gonna come in handy. Now, to be fair, when this was new, it did a lot better, but I did have to worry about leaving scratch marks. And the whole idea here is that we don't leave scratch marks. And when that happens, some people will put like a business card, a playing card down to protect the surface of the material. This one leaves absolutely no scratch marks behind whatsoever. And so it's kind of nice having one I can abuse if needed. I can have one for fine furniture. So I want to give you guys an idea of how this works. So because it's so flexible here, I can put some pressure down on my material just like this and then just simply pull back. Now this inlay material is, I believe it's pronounced Chak de Viga, but to be honest, I have no idea, so I'll leave it written on the screen. It's a very hard material, beautiful color, and it holds its color far better than a lot of other species of wood. It'll get a little darker over time, but it'll still be a nice orange color. So there we go. That one is completely flushed up, just like these are. No scratch marks in here whatsoever. Now that was going with the grain, so I figure I'll do one going against the grain. Um, the whole idea here is just to hold the saw to the material. So we don't need to put any pressure down. We definitely don't want to be touching the teeth itself just because there's no point. It's just enough to keep the saw flat on here. What's nice is that if you're in a really awkward position, this just flexes with the tool. So I can start here. I kind of like to get myself a little start on a corner. And then away we go. And here's the thing. Try and get this so you guys can see. Now here I have, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but the way I was holding it, a little awkward, cause I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it on the camera, is I kind of angled up just a little bit. It sort of right, rose up a little as it went. So I have this lip here. A flush cut saw, a good one, will be able to trim even just that off. So as I hold this here, you guys won't be able to see as well, but you can see I'm cutting down into this. If I hold this here, look at how much better that looks already. You can get really, really, really close to your material. So that's basically it. I'm gonna trim the rest of these up. I just figured I'd show you guys. It's a pretty useful tool to have in the shop. As always, I'll leave links down below in case uh, you guys wanna check them out. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, see you in the next video.